Namaste beautiful yogis, welcome to Ali Kamenova Yoga. I'm Ali and today we're doing a class from the total body and soul fitness and yoga program for January. Today's class is going to bring the elements of the core program that we did last year, of the buddhi program, especially the second buddhi program that we did last year. So we'll incorporate a lot of elements of classes that we've done and programs that we've done in this flowy vinyasa mindfulness class. So remember to flow with strength and ease and come to my website, join in late if you're not on there. Really, you're missing out on a lot of beautiful monthly programs. So I'll see you there. Here, I'll be showing up as much as I can, but there I'm full on. So I'll see you there hopefully, and let's flow with strength and ease. Starting at the front of the mat, roll the shoulders back and allow them to drop down. It can be ex exaggerated just at first so that you can feel the limits of your movement and find a comfortable natural place and sometimes the natural place feels exaggerated because we're leaning forward all day so find a place where it feels opening expansive spacious aligned begin to pull the belly in drawing the navel in and feeling the abdominal wall Coming in towards the midline, so the two sides of the TVA, moving in towards the midline, cinching everything in towards the midline. Now feel the back, the back muscle supporting the spine, it's part of the core, feeling the obliques. Let's open the palms of the hands forward, which puts the space between the the collarbones and the shoulders in proper alignment. Lifting through the crown of the head and feel your chin parallel to the floor. Lifting through the crown as if you're being pulled up. Shift your weight slightly back towards the heels. Lift the toes of the floor and feel the arches of the feet lifting. Feel the inner thighs, quadriceps, hamstrings. Just touch up mentally on those muscles. And now turn the gaze inward towards the breath, following the breath. Cultivating Ujjayi breath. Let's bend the knees. Step your feet hip width apart and take the arms up, chair pose, tucking the tailbone just slightly down and you can shift your hips side to side, feeling as you shift how you're firing up the booty on each side, the glutes. Feel strength in the move, so starting to move with strength, great. Come up, exhale your hands onto your thighs and we're gonna go for a vacuum. <clears throat> One more. One more. <laughs> and straight to chair. 
hands in prayer shift your weight onto the right leg take the left leg all the way back warrior three come up to standing on one leg hands reach over the head and elbow to knee and back to warrior three you can keep your hands in warrior three over the heart it's a little more challenging forward way more challenging so move the hands up and over the heart as you go into warrior three, two, three, four, five, level the hips. And here we're going to come into one legged chair, left leg in front of us, warrior three, one, chair, warrior three, two, three, level the hips as you move, four, and five stay here left hand on the floor right arm up revolving half moon and come up one last tortured one legged chair <laughs> sink in good step it down so you should be fire <laughs> You should have set your booty on fire. Hands over the heart. Take one legged chair. Warrior three. You can bring the hands over the heart. Come up to standing. Knee tuck. Standing. Knee tuck two, warrior three, three, four, five, take one legged chair, level the hips, let's go one, Warrior, three. One legged chair on the left side, two. Warrior, three. Three. Four. Five, hold it. Take the right hand down, left arm up. Revolving half moon. You can come in to your last one legged chair. Torture chair. <laughs> Fun torture. Step it down, chair. And exhale forward, fold. Let's bring the left hand to the right ankle. Look over to your right, left. Clasp your hands behind you. Come up in chair with a clasp and shift your weight onto the right leg. Step it back. High lunge with a clasp, one legged chair. Second one, one legged chair. Try to level the hips. Three, four, and five. 
one legged chair step it back this time instead of opening up twist and walk your hands over to your left softening the right shoulder stay straighten out one two three four stay low five that's the fifth one and step it down right leg steps back open one leg chair two three four Step it back and twist. One, two, two more, four, and Five. Step it down. Release the hands. Forward fold. You can clasp your or wrap your wrist around the elbows. Hang here. And. Let's bend only the left knee, straightening the right leg. Take the left hand underneath the left shoulder. Take the right arm up. Twist and change. Feel the body. One more time. Twist and just feel the spirals, the directions in the body. The energy moving through the standing leg through the spine, through the arms. Reach forward this time and feel how your hand is reaching away from the hip, push the hip back. The right hip pushes back to lengthen the obliques, opposite side. And reach. Feel it, press the hip back. And exhale down, forward fold. And you can move the shoulders here, moving the hips, elongating the spine, hinging at the hips. So we're not rounding the back, we're hinging at the hips and feeling where that is, it could be could be here, it could be further down. Everybody is different and there is no right or wrong. It's just our anatomy and level of practice uh, or flexibility work. There's a little bit of that too. Inhale, look ahead of you. And let's place the hands down as if in we're gonna go in plank, but instead we're gonna step just a few inches back and come onto the tippy toes, squeeze the knees into your triceps and then drop the knees between the hands. Squeeze into the triceps, drop between the hands. So really, really squeeze the belly in here. Let's go. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, 
five, six, six, that's from the core program, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, ten. That would totally pull everything in if you have loose stomach muscles from pregnancy or in general from just not nurturing them enough. That was that will strengthen them and strengthen them and cinch them back in. All right, now we're gonna do the pendulum. Stay light on the toes, and we're gonna shift the toes or walk the toes. You can walk, or you can hop side to side, elbow to elbow. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10 and now you can step in plank and lower down onto your belly cobra exhale downward facing dog inhale the right leg up open the hip drop it behind wow thing Side plank, knee to elbow, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, plank. Step your right foot through, come up, high lunge, lunge twist in prayer. Inhale, coming up, reach back, exhale down, plank, chaturanga, upward facing dog, chaturanga, downward facing dog. <sighs> mm. Nice, complete exhalations. Let's take the left leg up open. Drop it behind while thing. Side plank. Knee to elbow. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Plank. Step it through. Come up reach back feel it hands in prayer twist and let's release down plank lower down onto the belly lift the legs and the shoulders of the floor. Lift. Exhale, down dog. And you can walk in place here. Enjoy your breath. Let's take the right hand to the left elbow, look under and lift the hips high, opposite side, looking under the right shoulder, down dog, lifting the tailbone as high as you can. Inhale the right leg up, step it through, come up from the second body program, <laughs> we're gonna do a fun little sequence, hands on the hips, lean forward, so hinging at the hips, leaning forward, we're not rounding forward here, we're actually hinging forward, step the back leg in, this is staggered squat, so you're focusing on the right leg, the left leg lowers down, 
the knee lowers down towards the right ankle and we're really focusing on this side this is just for support and balance so we're gonna go one two three four five straight back now with the hop one two three four five now we'll cross it cross back lunge and we'll go one two three four five try to level the hips and now hop one two three four five open it to the side and side lunge hold here Ooh, burn holy burn and chair exhale forward fold inhale look ahead of you plank chaturanga up dog downward facing dog take the left leg up step it through come up same sequence step it in and lower down let's go one two three four five with a little hop hinging in the hips leaning forward which are, activates the glutes more than the quads one two three four five cross it one two four five hop hop it try to level the hips one two three four five step it out and hold it push the knees and hips back great and step it down in one of the most beautiful rewarding poses in yoga yogic squat and if half of you are saying yes rewarding and half of you are saying no <laughs> this is everything but rewarding and I hear you but your body is getting the rewards sometimes if you have ankle flexibility challenges knee hips will feel this pose as challenging but for all of us it's very freeing for the lower back all right flow forward fold step it back plank chaturanga upward dog downward dog inhale the right leg up step it through warrior two reverse the warrior you can wrap the back arm back and around reach side angle both hands down level the hips turn the back heel up twist lunge look ahead of you thread your left leg forward grab your left foot roll back to plow you can hold plow here and step it back and forward fold plank chaturanga upward dog downward dog take the left leg up step it through warrior two feel the legs feel the opening of the hip Feel the back heel, reverse it, wrap it back in the round, soften the shoulder. Side angle, you can be over the knee, on the floor. Really lengthen the top side of the body. Both hands down, turn the back heel up, twist. reach your head look ahead and let's thread the 
right knee first, then foot, and grab it. And then roll back in <laughs> plow. Holding plow for a moment is one of the, again, key poses in yoga. And roll it out. Step it down, yogic squat. Yay. Forward fold. Plank. Chaturanga. Upper dog, hold it. Down dog. Take the right leg up, open it. Walk your hands towards the back, towards the left leg. Keep opening the leg here. You can even grab the ankle with the right hand. Great, walk your hands to the front, keep opening that leg. And square the hips, bring your knee between the elbows and across and kick it up. So we're kicking the leg up and rolling it back through the move. And again, knee in, kick it up. Inner thigh working here. One more. Three. Kick it up. And now step it through. Drop the back heel down. Warrior one. Powerful dry breath. Let's revisit our Parivrita, Ardha Chandrasana, revolving half moon, dropping the left hand in front of the right foot, bring the back heel up, lengthen, and let's go into revolving triangle pose, drop the back heel down and spin it here, pressing the back heel the back hip back so we're finding that length great forward fold and vinyasa i'm gonna repeat it so have a mental image of where we're going or stay in the now and just move take the left leg up walk your hands back keep opening and you can bring the left hand to the left ankle open release walk your hands to the front square the hips bring the knee between the elbows and kick it high and back and knee in kick it high and back and one more time kick it high this time we're gonna step it through Drop the back heel down, warrior, one. Working with your hips, feeling the hips, feeling the heel. Great. Revolving half moon. If you can do it in one go, one move. Revolving triangle. And forward fold. Flank.
we're going to go for shoulder taps pull the belly in a really strong plank one right hand to the left shoulder two opposite try to swing the hips as little as possible steady them let's go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten take the right leg up bend it at the knee push the heel five times up one two three four five and do a scorpion touch behind so the tail of the scorpion touches one more set one two three four five scorpion one two three four five scorpion great step it down opposite side one two three four five scorpion one two three four take it as spinal adjustment one two three four five scorpion great down dog inhale the right leg up step it through high lunge and we're going to lower the knee bring your hands forward twist lower the knee twist lower the knee three four five one more twist and vinyas take the left leg up step it through high lunge with control feel the lowering in each and every muscle twist two three extending the tailbone down so we're feeling this through the hip flexor four five twist lower the hands at the front of the mat step your feet at the front roll back into plow and come into a squat pose in the part of the squat where your glutes fire up so one two three poses open out in a squat hop one two so those are chair poses in the very challenging part squat one two three squat one two three squat one two yeah, I promise we're almost done. Squat and roll in plow. Good job. That's from another class from <laughs> the body and soul. Total, total body program. Shoulder stand. and roll out of it for pigeon pigeon on the right side or if you chose the other side that's fine we'll do both <laughs> With this and with every program that I'm doing each and every month, each month we do a program on the website, on my website, we focus on the body, the inner feedback being the teacher. We find the teaching from the body, how to move, how to be, 
how to expand, how to grow, how to transform. We feel and listen. Here you can just exclude the mind, the internal dialogue or the monkey mind, and just close the eyes and feel the body. And allow this to be your teacher. Your body tells you where your limitations, where your power is. Your body teaches you about the bliss of the moment. And with the breath, through the breath, we connect to the soul. So the breath connects the body to the soul. Hence the body and soul fitness. Opposite side. Level the hips, lengthen the spine. Feel the hip, feel the body. Breathe in with the richness of your own breath. Feel the teachings of your own body, your body connected to your soul, the lessons transmuting into your heart, into your consciousness. Using the breath and the body as your guide, as your teacher. soles of the feet together, open the knees out, open the legs, forward fold, and you can do a few <laughs> circular spinal moves. And side to side. A few more. And step your feet down, bridge. Take the right leg underneath the left and Take a pose, side plank here. Thread it back, opposite side. Thread it and take it into a side plank and bridge or a tabletop. This will go to bridge. Lower down, bridge. release. Let's bring the left leg over the chest, right leg, a couple more of those. Either lay down for Shavasana or sit up for final relaxation, meditation, mindfulness, stillness. If you're sitting, you can bring your index finger to your thumb otherwise lay comfortably and just stay here in the awareness of your own being in the pure consciousness of your inner deep world feeling the expansion of each and every cell in your body the opening of the awareness, the consciousness, the chakras, the energy of the body. And without being attached 
to this moment lasting forever but just experiencing it for a brief moment and then flowing into the next moment stay here for as long as you need to i'll see you tomorrow with another total body and soul fitness class on my website or i'll see you next week here on youtube and have a beautiful rest of the day sending you all my love namaste remember to flow with strength mm -hmm.